He Sahidu is a fine man. The emperor must be a heavy burden for I go. One Machiko continues her self-restraint to Empress Machiko's life in hiding 3 is the emperor too much for Aiko? On August 15th, their majesties the emperor and empress attended the national memorial ceremony for the war dead together. In his speech, his majesty mentioned the corona disaster for the first time in public. Less than I sincerely hope that we can all work together to overcome this difficult situation and continue to seek happiness and peace for all people. I am sure that many people were moved by this powerful message from His Majesty. Many people may have been moved by His Majesty's powerful message. Hideo Kawanishi, Associate Professor, Graduate School of Humanities, Nagoya University, who has studied the history of the symbolic emperor system, praised the message, saying, it is indeed his majesty the emperor who was educated from an early age as a symbol. Takako Nagai, who covers the imperial family for Asahi Weekly, also praised the emperor, saying, he is calm yet bold. I caught a glimpse of the Riku style. Regarding the scope of his activities in the future, Nobuteko Dano, the chief attendant to His Majesty's Imperial Highness the Emperor, said at a regular lecture, I think his activities will be centered on online for a while. Their Majesties attended the International Online Conference on Water-Related Disaster Prevention under the new coronavirus epidemic at the Akasaka Palace on April 20 and commented, I felt a strong sense of realism and human connection, indicating that they are positively seeking ways to communicate with the people of Japan and the world even in the face of the coronavirus epidemic. Empress Machiko's life in hiding. On the other hand, it has been difficult to keep track of the movements of Empress Machiko. At the end of March this year, the Emperor and Empress moved from the Sento Palace, where they had lived for about 30 years, to the Sento Temporary Palace in Takanawa, Minato-ku. On May 28, his Majesty the Emperor visited the Institute of Biology at the Imperial Palace for the first time since the move, while Machika has continued to refrain from going out, except for one visit to the Kunai Medical Center for a dental checkup in April. As for the background of her thoroughgoing seclusion, Shuika Waso, the chief of the Imperial Household, explained. In consideration of corona infection and her health condition, but a source close to the Emperor said, if she were to engage in any public activities, she would be exposed as a double authority by the weekly magazines. However, a source close to the Emperor said, if she does anything public, the weekly magazines and other media will talk about her dual authority. So Michiko is stuck in limbo. In addition, as Michiko has been living in seclusion, there are very few opportunities for acquaintances to visit her, as they were when she was living in the Imperial Palace. In such a situation, Michiko's solace is said to be reading books that were published during the Heisei era that were critical of Masako and Scrap, books of weekly magazines. A source close to the Emperor said. Machika has recently purchased an iPad and is using it to store her past collection of weekly magazine articles and books in electronic form. Of course, she also bought two new books, one for storage and one for viewing. He was very pleased with the results saying, this is great because it's hard for people to know what I'm reading. The process involves cutting the books and scanning them, which is a painstaking process, 
and some companies specialize in this kind of work. However, since Machiko is concerned about information leaks, the superiors are working diligently on the task. Is it impossible for Iko to be the emperor? In addition, Machiko is said to be very concerned about Iko, who entered Gekushu in university this year, and Hisahito, who is currently a second year student at Achenamazu University Junior High School. However, she cannot go to the Akasaka Imperial Palace because she is concerned about the rush of the press when she goes out, so the Emperor frequently goes to the Akasaka Palace and the Akishino Palace to check on her. Michiko spoke highly of Hisahito's frequent attendance at the online official duties of their Imperial Highnesses Akishino during their summer vacation. Hisahito is admirable, she said. Hisahito is admirable. It's very impressive that he is able to balance his studies and official duties at his age. On the other hand, he is a bit skeptical about Aiko. Citing the fact that the first semester of her university course was all online and that she has cancelled her summer vacation, she says, if she has time, she should attend to her official duties. For Machiko, the debate over the succession to the throne is also a major concern. The Akishino family, who are able to balance their studies, are considered to be a model family. In addition, there are times when she says things like, the position of emperor may be too heavy for Aiko, given Masako's adjustment disorder. Michiko's judgment of Aiko. However, many people are impressed by the quality and sturdiness of the emperor's family, and have great trust in them. To begin with, the royal family's official duties were customarily performed after they had reached adulthood. The support for the emperor's family, which is modest, yet thoughtful and sincere, is only growing by the day. Michiko's idea of an exemplary figure as a member of the imperial family may be beginning to be at odds with Riwa's values.